ladies and gentlemen, Captain Invader. Tom Kondrich on defense in goal for Canton. Bill Namofsky, 11 and 6 on the year, 4.10 goals against average. And for Memphis, it's Yarrow, or rather Manny Sanchez, 9 and 11, 4.36 goals against average. Up front, you've got Martin Vasquez, Ted Hantak, Boro Susevich, and the defenders are Sean Pendleton. And who is that on the other side? Is that Yepes? I think, that's Juan, I think that's Juan Yepes who replaces Willen, who is out with the penalty minutes. Yepes was who they said would start. Nope, Yepes is on the bench. Uh, that leaves... Wicker's on the bench. Pesnecker's on the bench. Kelly's on the bench. Must be Vincent Beck. Yeah, Vincent Beck. Vasquez takes the kickoff forward. Ball deflected by Randy Pikasinski. Tomo pushes it ahead to Kia. Left side at midfield with it is Don Tobin on the attack for Canton. Ball knocked back by Vasquez. Taken the left edge of the midfield circle by Schlothauer. Feeds on the right side to Kondrich. And now Walter at the red line and back in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. We play 20 seconds here at the Civic Center. 
Invaders looking for their 24th win of the year. Memphis trying to stay at or above the 500 mark. Namaski with the ball in the goal arc. And Billy will come out across the red line. Nobody marks him there. Namaski out close to midfield. Now he's at the midfield stripe. Sends it in the right corner. Kia working on Beck in there. Beck able to head it in the goal box for Sanchez. He holds on. Puts the ball on the floor. Pendleton forward for Vasquez. And now it's back over to Beck. In the goal box for Sanchez. Manny Sanchez will come out with it across the Memphis red line. Randy Pekosinski over on him. Lead for Hantak. Namaski out to punch that away. But it goes out of play, and it'll be a kick in from the left corner for Memphis. It's a very smart play by Billy. He came out there, and uh, if he doesn't tip that ball over the glass, Hantak has a good chance to knock that ball in. It's a very good and smart play by Billy. Good leaping ability he showed there, too, to be able to get up in the air and get a piece of that to knock it away. These are always dangerous for us, these corner kicks. Corner kick comes in. Namaski swats it back out. Beck chases it out to midfield. Right edge of the circle. Pendleton right side up against the boards. Vasquez. Tobin sliding play to knock it away from Vasquez. Beck tries to clear. Randy steps in. Oh, a little and Beck there. gets called for the holding. And that'll be the first foul of the game. It goes against Memphis. Tobin across the Memphis red line. Left point area to Schlotthauer. Walter down in the corner. Tobin with a shot up over the crossbar and out of play. It looks like Memphis is going a little low pressure against us. They're letting us uh, come in, and they're leaving a man uh, free up top. They want to get the quick counter if they can, it looks like. Goal kick for Memphis. He didn't miss it by much, but it's no. just enough to get it out of play. Yepes and Wicker on the floor on defense for Memphis. Pesnecker at midfield. And your forwards. That's interesting. Tony Johnson not on either of the lines. Their second leading score. Well, well Tony's had... Uh, bone chips in his ankles the last uh, two weeks. He's supposed to have them removed, and I'm not sure if he has as of yet. 19, or 21 Jones is out there. Daryl Jones, who uh, was not on the roster on the scorecard. At least not according to that. No. Is that legal? <laughs> oh, there he is. They got him in the wrong place. Darren Jones. They got him between six and eight. He's at the top. No. One, he was two, a late entry, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, 21, eight. A new way to count. Maybe there that's the way they do it in Memphis. <laughs> 12.52 to play in the first quarter. No score. Namaski with the ball for Canton. Tima and Paxos on defense. Magic Celestin, Rudy Pikasinski, and Les Scarelli. The forward three for Canton. Lesh on that line in replace of the injured Art Kramer. Ramiro Borja in pursuit of Namaski. Namaski gets it away. Ah, Borja he pushed with a him push. down. And they didn't call it, and Wicker then sent it into the stage. And it'll be a goal kick for Canton. Wicker a little over anxious. Lesh put Billy under extreme pressure there when he was already out of the box, and uh, Borja came down on him and uh, actually pushed him down, but no call was made. 12.28 to play in the first quarter. No score. Namaski with the ball in the goal box. He comes outside the arc with it. And Billy out to the red line. Borja a couple steps up and now backs away. Very low pressure they're having on us tonight. Same thing Milwaukee was doing. Right, right. Now they're going to high pressure us a little bit. Left side midfield. And then they back off again. Against Borja. Back to Namaski. Billy out across the red line, sends it long in the left side for Scarelli, and it yeah. gets off Lesh and goes out of play, and Milwaukee will kick it in. Difficult ball to control for Lesh down there in the corner. Yeah, the ball was uh, supposed to hit off the glass, and he tried to flick it back across to Rudy, who was open in the middle. Unfortunately, it just nicked off his head and over the boards. Yepes dumps it in the goal box for Sanchez. We played a little more than three minutes. No score here. Sanchez picked up by Pikasinski. Ball at midfield. He wants Jones. Jones has trouble with Handball. it. Scarelli gets it back. Paxos ahead. Rudy clears to the left side for Celestin. Celestin trying to move inside. Pesnecker crosses with Scarelli. Magic keeps the ball on the right point. Now Paxos team over the middle of the floor to Rudy. It squirts away from him and into the goal box. Sanchez controls there. Outlet short on the right side to Yepes. Lead ball forward. They want Borja. Borja trying to get around Paxos. And Paxos will get whistled for the trip. The team files are even at one apiece. Yep, has to put it in play from just outside the invader red line. Feeds it on the left side. And the ball not controlled there by... Uh, 
Wicker. And now Wicker, the ball for Wicker knocked away by Paxos to midfield. Scarelli's got it in front of the invader bench. Lesh right side at midfield. Borja clears by. Lesh dishes back to Tim Tima. And Tima clears back to Nomoski, and the Invaders will change lines. 10.58 to go in the first quarter. No score here. You're with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Radio home of the Invaders. Schlotthauer with the ball. Right side at midfield, it comes to Kondrich, and now Walter in the midfield circle. Right side to Kia at the red line, back to Schlotthauer. Yeah, Schlotthauer well pushes the ball ahead, and Kondrich had a little trouble with that, and it's dumped back in the goal box and controlled by Manny Sanchez with the ball on the floor. Kia in pursuit. Kia deflected that a little. Tobin heads it ahead for Randy Pikasinski. His ball for Schlotthauer. Walter's got to chase it down back in the invader zone. Vasquez had decent position there, and Walter wisely clears it back. Now Tobin out in front of the arc. Toby, invader red line, ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Back to then on the right side against Pendleton. Now Kia in the corner. Kia out on the point area. Steps in, gets around back. He shoots, kicks oh. in with a good one by Sanchez that might have hit the defender in the hand but no call and Kondrich lets it go he wanted Tobin on the far post but it was blocked out of play by Sean Pendleton it was a good move by Kia Kia had the ball over over at the boards and he uh, stepped over the ball committed to the defender and he moved inside had a great ch uh, chance on goal but Sanchez he came up big and made a big save no score 9.57 to go in the period Don Tobin to put it in play from the right corner for Canton As of now, we're playing really well. We're knocking the ball around. We're playing our style of game. We're not playing a run and gun like they're doing. Tobin, outside Schlotthauer. He lets it fly and oh. scores. Sanchez got a piece of it, but not enough up against the post, and it squirts in. Yeah, the ball was laid back off a corner kick uh, from Toby back to Walter, and Walter just hit it first time. His patented rocket shot, and the ball uh, went through one defender's leg. Sanchez might not have seen it. It was a great shot, and it went off the boards, off Sanchez, and in the back of the net. It's a great goal by Walter. Schlotthauer's 11th goal of the year for Tobin. It's his 20th assist, and the Invaders lead one to nothing. Moro Susovic in for Memphis, ahead for Hantak, back to the net in the corner against Kondrich. There's a shot over the glass and out of play by Vincent Beck, and the Invaders will have a goal kick. Time of the goal, 5.05 for Walt Schlotthauer on the Don Tobin assist, and the Invaders lead one to nothing. We'll give shots like that. Uh, the ball he shot over was just inside the red line, and shots like that are fine. You know, I'd rather have a shot out there than inside the box any day. And if the guys, if they're going to shoot out there, it makes an easy job for Bill Namoski tonight. 9.46 to play in the first quarter. Billy with the outlet outside the box to Schlotthauer. Taps it back in for Namoski. Bill with the ball still on the floor, still in the box. Now outside on the right side to Kondrich. Hand tack on him. Loosely on him, I might say, on D. And back in the goal box for Namofsky. Yeah, they're playing really loose. They're not high pressure as of yet. Maybe later in the game, as uh, the game gets tighter, they might start. To, they're letting Billy come. He's finding the open men. And like there, we just split with Walter over to Tomo. And now Kia over to Tobin to an open Randy. Randy shoots. Good save. Follow. Knocked out wide by Sanchez. Clearing out in the corner. Hand tech can't control. Randy just outran him to the point. To Tobin. Back to midfield. Schlotthauer on the right side to Kondrich. And ahead to Don Tobin. Two good saves there by Sanchez. Two point-blank saves. Two good chances there by Randy. Kia working on back. Hantak knocked the ball away from behind and gets called for the trip. Second foul on Memphis. <laughs> Tobin, left side, Slothauer lets it go. Walfie knocked away by Pendleton and clears it out to Hantak. Hantak across the red line. Stops at midfield as Randy hustles back on D. Now Pendleton, left side, it goes to Beck. Beck forward the ball deflected by Kondrich good play by Tomo good move to get around Beck and oh, and a great to Randy pass. two on one break feeds Kia scores what a great, what a great pass work that was Tomo made a steal up at midfield he took the ball down he beat one defender he passed in the corner over to Randy Randy committed the defender and the goalkeeper he pushed the ball square across the goal mouth to Kia and Kia just tapped it into the back of the net what a great goal that was time of the goal 628 for Kia his 25th goal for Randy Pikasinski his fourth assist Memphis wants time we'll take a break Canton 2 Memphis nothing Gerhard Zimmerman 
a key off the feed from Randy Pikasinski. Schlothauer's was just a howitzer shot. Yeah, Walter hit a ball. This patented uh, Walter Schlothauer shot. He he hit it about uh, 10 feet inside the red line and just drilled it near post and beat Sanchez. And then the second goal was just super pass work. Tomo stole the ball at midfield. He took it down. He beat a defender, passed it into Randy, who made the defender and the goalkeeper commit and laid it across to Kia. Easy tap in for Kia. 2-0. Memphis off the kickoff. Yepes, long ball for Peznecker, centers, and it's knocked away by Tima and controlled by Namofsky. Outlet left side at the red line to Paxos. Ball deflected by Borja, taken by Jones. His shot blocked by Tima. Celestin and Peznecker fight forward in the corner. And Magic able to clear it in the goal box for Namofsky. Quick outlet to Tima. Tima beat Jones up the left side. He feeds in the middle, blocked away. And coming the other way is Borja ahead to Yepes. Yepes right side at the Canton red line. Magic back shot, save Namofsky, rebound, score by Borja, who just basically jumped over Namofsky to head it in. That was... Uh, that wouldn't have been a goal. It probably called him for a dangerous play. That's what I was about ready to say. The ball was played across. Billy made the save. He didn't quite knock it out wide enough. But uh, Rudy was back there to clear it. The offensive player ran right past Rudy and fell over Billy. Matter of fact, pushed Billy to the ground so he couldn't make the second save and knocked the ball in. It's a tough goal to give up there. Borja gets the goal. Yepes gets the assist at 7.06. Borja's eighth goal of the year. Yepes now has four assists on the season. And we'll be back in 30 seconds. And when he went up for the header, Billy already had it cleared, and uh, he was ready to hit it again, and Borja just ran over him. He didn't even head the ball. The ball just uh, floated through the air, so I thought it was a foul myself. But as it is, the lead cut in half at 2-1. to 7.54 to go in the first quarter. Contest quarters tonight in the second and third periods. Celestin knocked it over the invader bench out of play, and Memphis will put it in from midfield. Two to one invaders here with 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio. Tony Wicker to put it in play for Memphis. Wicker, ball blocked by Rudy out of play and they'll do it again. Now's a good time for us to move forward and really high, almost high pressure him a little bit and see what they have. This time he sends it in, it's off the chest of Jones. Takes it up against the left board. Scarelli on D. Lesh stepped in front. That allowed Paxos to get a piece of it. And now Lesh clears it out the right side. Lesh to the middle of the floor. Left side at the red line to Celestin. Magic trying to get around Pesnecker. Pushed down by Pesnecker. No call. But they're able to clear it back for Tim Tima. Tima. Scarelli at the red line. Left side to Celestin. The Magic man double team. Sliding play by Borja. Knocked it away. Three on one break. Yep, has centers and scores. And Memphis has come back to tie it at 2-2. Juan Yepes, who assisted on the first goal, scores the second one. And the time of this goal, 7.39, so they get two goals within 33 seconds. That was just a breakdown there. Magic had the ball and got tri tripped up. I thought it was a foul, but they continued to play. It was a three-on-one. Timmy cut the man off near post. He shot it. There was a man far post, and it just got under Billy. They trade him off. They give Borja the assist on that one, so it's Yepes from Borja. Tobin sends it long. Randy Pikasinski in the corner, centering ball for Kia, knocked away by Pendleton. Antac can't control, but Beck does. And now off the boards it comes for Damian Kelly, and now Beck. Long ball, past Tony Johnson in for the first time. Schlotthauer chases it down in the invader end. Game is tied 2-2. 6.58 to go in the first quarter. Condridge dumps it back in the goal box for Namofsky. Memphis with some fresh legs in and still backing up in that low pressure. Namofsky outside the red line, right side midfield for Tobin. One touch right back to Billy. Namofsky back edge of the midfield circle, in the circle. Long ball for Tomo, and it's over the glass and out of play down in the right corner. We have to go back to really start knocking the ball around again. We started holding the ball a little bit. We lost it a few times. We gave up two goals because of it. So I think we, we go back to really knocking the ball around and uh, one and two touch. I think the game will open up for us again. 6.37 to go in the first quarter. Invaders in Memphis tied 2-2. Next home game next Saturday against the Toledo Pride. 8.05 kickoff. Beck sends it forward. 
Johnson couldn't get it. it goes over the head of both he and Schlotthauer and Condridge clears it back in the goal box for Namoski. Over to Tobin, back to Billy. Namoski still in the box, now he comes out. Left side, still in the invader zone to Tobin, now on the right to Namoski. Susevich applying token pressure. Left side midfield for Don Tobin ahead to the Memphis red line. Shot through the legs of Johnson down in the corner. Kia and Pendleton in a race there. Kia to Randy. Randy tries to center, gets between a couple of guys and then fired it wide to the left. Great move by Randy there. And Tony Johnson comes out with it for Memphis. Beats left side at midfield for Boro Susevich. They were teammates at Columbus last year. Susevich backs it up. It's behind Beck, and he's got to chase it back in the Memphis end again. And in the goal box for Sanchez. 5.44 to play in the quarter. Sanchez dumps it out of play as Randy applied the heat. And the invaders will... Uh, no, the ball went off Randy went there, off they Randy. said. Okay. So. so Memphis will put it in from just outside their red line on the right side of the floor. Susevich. Well, Pendleton will be the one to put it in play. Rudy Pikasinski now out there with Scurelli and Celestin. Tima and Paxos on defense. They dump it in the goal box for Sanchez. The Memphis goalkeeper comes out. Sanchez picked up by Rudy, and that's going to be a three-line violation as he cleared it too far for Damian Kelly. Sanchez is really struggling with his feet, and it seems every time we put pressure on him, we almost have a good chance to score. Celeste and left side Scarelli on Johnson. The pass knocked away by Beck, and Johnson dumps it back for Pendleton. Now Beck left side at the Memphis red line. Beck sends it forward for Tony Johnson. Johnson in the invader and back to the net in the corner on Tima. Outside, the shot by Kelly saved Namoski. The follow by Susevich is into the stage, and it'll be a goal kick for the Invaders. It was a really good save by Billy. It was a point-blank shot just outside the box, and uh, he parried the ball just nice and wide out of the middle. Then uh, the follow shot, no one was there to clear, and he, he shot the ball over the glass. 5-11 to go in the first quarter, and the game is tied 2-2. Namofsky to put it in play. Outlet left side for Tima. And Tima will come forward with it. Jones waits for him at the red line. Feeds to the right side. Namofsky back to Tima. Tima ahead to midfield. And Timmy out in front of the Memphis bench. Ahead for Scarelli. Double team knocked away. But Timmy with a sliding play to knock it away from Jones. Wicker and Pikasinski fight in the corner. Yepes to help out. And they dump it in the goal box for Sanchez. Long outlet midfield intercepted by Tima. Here come the invaders, four on three. Tima in the corner for Magic. Magic wants to center, and the pass is cut off by Pesnecker. And Celestin has to back it up to the point on the right side. Now behind the midfield circle to Paxos. He's all the way back to the invader red line. Seam of the carpet came up for a second, but Mike able to keep his balance. 4.23 to go. In the period, game is tied 2-2. Scarelli working on Wicker, and Wicker will get the push. That'll be the third foul on Memphis. Scarelli quickly ahead, headed back out by Pesnecker. Lesh gets it back at midfield. Left side to Paxos against Jones. Back in the Invader goal box to Bill Namoski. 4.07 to go in the first quarter. We're tied 2-2. Slotauer and Kia have scored for Canton. Borja and Yepes for Memphis. Namoski right side midfield for Tima. Back to Namoski, who's outside the red line. Billy sends it long. It's over the head of Celestin. Pesnecker and Pikasinski fight for it in the corner. Rudy with a deflection. Magic will beat Yepes out front. Back out to Paxos. Paxos out front for Pikasinski. Rudy looking for some help, and he has a problem there as the ball's knocked away by Borja. But uh, Paxos knocks it away. Paxos inside to Celestin. Celestin taken down by Yepes. That's the fourth foul. Pikasinski out front. Right point to Scarelli. Lesh working in on Wicker. Back outside to Tima. Now Pikasinski with a shot. No rebound. Celestin hit the crossbar and bounced out of play. What a good turn there by Rudy. He had no, no way he could turn the goalkeeper, thought Sanchez. And he just seemed to turn and, and wheel on, on one foot. Hit it wide, and uh, Magic followed and just hit it off the bar. 3.20 to go in the period. Game is tied 2-2. Invaders scored the first two. Memphis answered with two goals, 33 seconds apart. Sanchez, Pikasinski on D. Red line right side to Yepes. Yepes forward for Jones. Jones working on Paxos at the red line. Rudy to help out, and the ball deflected, and Paxos clears over to Scarelli. Lesh forward for Celestin at midfield. 
Magic in the circle. Ahead for Lesh, but the ball taken away by Jones, who then fell down. But it was still controlled by Memphis as Wicker able to clear back to Tony Pesnecker. Pesnecker through the midfield circle, picked up by Scarelli at the Canton red line. Pesnecker down the left side, shot blocked over by Paxos. Paxos clears it out. Pekosinski and Yepes at midfield. Rudy trying to outrun him. The ball dumped down in the goal box. And Sanchez has it there. Outlet to Wicker. Wicker passes around. Tima knocked the ball away from Susevich. Ahead to Rudy, but he couldn't quite get it. And Yepes clears out to Borja at midfield. Borja with a goal and an assist tonight, picked up by Tima at the red line, moving left to right, stops Timmy, sliding play to knock it away. Celestin and Yepes collide, and the ball is knocked away by Borja and controlled by Beck in the Memphis zone. 2-10 to go in the period. Pendleton with it at the Memphis red line. Now Vasquez at midfield. Kia took it away. Vasquez got it back off the boards, back to Beck. Beck ahead for Hantak. Hantak working on Paxos. Paxi knocked it away from behind. And Tobin's got it there. And here come the invaders on the attack. Tobin through the midfield circle. Pushes it ahead. It's headed in the corner by Pendleton. Randy couldn't quite get it off the boards, but knocked it away from uh, Susevich. And Tobin controls at the red line. Minute 40 in the period. Right point. Schlotthauer lets it go. That's blocked by Vasquez, but Kondrich gets it back. Kondrich with Hantak on D. And now Vasquez to double team. Vasquez and... Yeah, they couldn't control. Hantak couldn't get it. Schlotthauer chases it down in the invader end. Walter comes back the other way. The ball knocked away by Beck. And with it is Vasquez for Memphis. Vasquez dumps it down in the corner. Off the boards, controlled in the box by Namofsky. Outlet Tobin, red line left side. And we go the other way with a minute nine to go in the period. Now's when we have to slow the ball down. We have to get patient again. Midfield circle, Schlotthauer. Down in the corner for Randy. Beck's got position there. Knocked it away. Loose out front. And Sanchez just grabbed it before Randy was going to stuff that home. Sanchez, long lead. Hand tack at the Invader red line, but it bounces off his foot and out of play. Canton will put it back in with 51 seconds to go in the first quarter. Randy read that at perfect. The ball was played back to the keeper, and he just beat the pass there and stole it and almost had a good sh sh a shot on goal. Good chance there, but it wasn't quite there yet. Kondrich will put it in play for Canton. Game is tied 2-2. We're in the first period. Now Tobin drops it back to Namofsky. And Billy outside the red line. There goes a low pressure again on us. Hesnecker creeps up on Tobin, but Namofsky still has the ball. Now out to the midfield circle. Billy out across midfield. Sends it ahead off the glass in the corner for Randy Pekosinski. Ball knocked away by Pendleton. Cleared for Jones. Jones back to Pendleton. And a bad pass knocked away by Randy Pekosinski. Randy to Schlotthauer. 25 seconds in the period. Schlotthauer, good move around Jones. He lets it go. Hit the post. Rebound. Kia had it knocked away by Beck. And Pesnecker clears it out. If Kia had pulled the trigger right away, I think he would have scored. If Kia would have hit that ball first time, it would have been in the back of net. Sanchez was nowhere to be found on that. He was near post. The ball already hit the far post boards and came out. Bounces out of play. Canton will put it in from midfield left side with 14 seconds in the period. Schlotthauer back to Kondrich ahead for Kia. 10 seconds. Kia, wall pass for Randy. No. And Randy took it away. Loose out front. It came out behind Tomo. Four seconds in the quarter. Jones at the red line, and the first quarter is over. With a score, the Invaders 2, Memphis 2. We come back to the Civic Center in just a fan, care of WHBC Radio, Box 9917, Canton, Ohio. Third quarter tonight will be our Ohio Health Choice Plan contest quarter. But for now, we're rooting for the Invaders and Cheryl Rowan of Navarre. Scarelli. I hope you win, Cheryl. Scarelli, Pikasinski, Celestin, Tima, and Paxos for Canton. Borja, Jones, Pesnecker, Yepes, and Wicker for Memphis. Ball dumped back in the Storm goal box. There Sanchez comes out. Bad pass taken away by Scarelli at midfield. Left side in the corner for Pikasinski. Rudy back to the net on Yepes. Feeds for Celestin, who just got hammered by Jones, and again, no call. And they back it up for Bill Namofsky. Outlet, red line on the right side to Tima. Tima lead ball for Mike Paxos. Paxos in the corner. Off the glass, Sanchez deflects it out wide. And Pikasinski has it on the boards. Ball bumped off by Jones, but controlled again by Tima at midfield. Left side, Paxos in the air over the head of Celestin. And Yepes chases that down. Dumps it in the goal box, almost put it in. 
Sanchez wasn't expecting that and had to make a good save off of what was supposed to be a pass. That was a great shot there by Yepes on his own goalkeeper. Knocks it away midfield off Celeste and ahead pick Kaczynski in the corner to himself. Ball cleared through the middle, headed up in the air by Pesnecker. And Sanchez goes up over the back of Wicker to pull that one down. I don't think Wicker knew his keeper was right behind him. No, Sanchez had to push Wicker out of the way because he wanted the ball. The ball was played up. It's easier for him to get it since he gets his hands on it first. 13.40 to go in the first half. 2-2, a score tied. And Jones can't control. Ball knocked away by Scarelli. Tima clears it up against the boards. Les trying to get around Jones inside the boards. He does. And Les up the left side. Lead ball for Rudy a little bit too far, and it goes in the goal box. And controlled there by Sanchez. Outlet to Wicker. And now Yepes on the left side. Celestin up on him. Yepes back in the box it goes for Manny Sanchez. 13-12 to play in the first half. No scoring in this period so far. Now's a good time to go get Sanchez. He has no idea. Sanchez outlet Wicker, but he didn't get a good pass off the boards. Pikasinski took it away. Wicker got it back. Rudy and Wicker fight. Wicker took a dive oh. and got the call. Rudy got all ball off the boards about a second later. Wicker decided maybe if I fall down, I'll get a whistle, and he did. He could win Academy Award for that dive. There's no doubt about that. First foul of the period. And Beck has it at midfield for Memphis down in the corner. This is Hantak, and the ball knocked away by Paxos. Beck with a deflection back to Hantak, tries to center, deflected, and Pikasinski controls in the box, able to maneuver around a man. Out to Paxos. Paxos double team. He's hauled down by Hantak who didn't appreciate the call. But they dump it in the goal box. Namofsky, long lead for Scarelli. Lesh off his chest, left side at midfield. Double teamed by Vasquez and Pendleton, and they dump it over to Susevich, who clears back in the goal box for Sanchez. Outlet Pendleton, and now with it is Beck. Beck around Celeste and ahead. Oh! Got inside, and they got Hantak again on the push. That's the second foul on Memphis. Antec's just kicking people now, it seems to be. He's not going for the ball at all. He seems to do that a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> That's for sure. Schlotthauer with the ball, left side at midfield, back in the goal box for Namoski. Billy around Vasquez, ahead it comes to Schlotthauer and back to Namoski again. And we've played three minutes of the second quarter. This game is still tied 2-2. Namoski outside the red line. Billy away from Hantak, left side at midfield for Schlotthauer, back to Namoski again. And again to Schlotthauer. So they go back with the low pressure again. Mm -hmm. Namofsky, this time they're really packed in. Namofsky with a shot that's in the stage. I think Billy was trying to take a shot there. He wanted to surprise the goalkeeper because he was out off his line. He, he almost, shot on goal there. He might have might have done something exciting. Well, he almost got A.J. Lackawecki of Louisville a couple of weeks ago. I really thought he one. scored that. I thought the ball went over the line. Unfortunately, we didn't get the call, so... Goal all kick. ancient history. Goal kick Memphis. Sanchez dumps it out to Pendleton. Back in the goal box, Sanchez. And he gets it out quickly for Beck. Beck with Tobin at midfield. Up against the left side boards now Hantak. Toby fights with him. Hantak cuts inside, but Kondrich able to clear it around the boards for Namoski. Billy puts the outlet to Tomo, and he leaves it out front of the box for Tobin. Tobin comes out on Susevich in the midfield circle. Right side to Kondrich. Ahead for Randy Pikasinski. Randy... Trying to get inside Pendleton. Now it's Kondrich. Wall feed loose. Kia with a shot. Kicked up against the corner, and Pendleton able to clear it into the waiting hands of Sanchez. Boy, that was a golden opportunity there. We Beck put that away. It, dumps it back. Now back outside from Sanchez to Beck. And Beck clears to midfield, but that one hits Tony Carbignani in the Memphis bench and goes out of play, and the Invaders will put it in at midfield. 10.55 to go in the first half. We're tied 2-2. We're having good chances. We're testing Sanchez. It's just, uh, it seems like the breaks are with him right now. Ball's either hitting a defender, pole, or something. Gondrich back to Tobin. Tobin lead ball for Kia. Kia back to the net out front to Randy. Randy takes it down the right side in the corner for Kia. Kia had a little trouble with that, but able to clear it back out on the point to Gondrich. And Tomo on the left side at midfield to Schlotthauer. 10.40 to go in the half. Kia at the red line, middle of the floor on Beck. Moves to the middle, stops, now to the left side. And Kia round one, stops, shoots, rebound outside to Tobin. Tobin, double team, has trouble against the boards. There's the fifth foul, third foul, rather. Now they caught it on Toby. Okay, but Kondrich able to step away. Team fouls even at two apiece. Namofsky ahead to Walt Schlotthauer at the Canton red line. Schlotthauer for Kia. Kia trying to get inside Beck, drops it back outside in the right point to Kondrich. Midfield circle to Tobin. 
Tobin. Left side for Tima. Tima. Airborne on the right side for Randy. He'll pass for Kia. Ball was intercepted, however, by Beck and cleared out by Sanchez. Sanchez, ball knocked away by Randy Pikasinski. Tima gets it away from Vasquez ahead to Kia, right side. Kia to Tobin. He shoots. Good save by Sanchez going down to his right. That's a great first-time ball by Donnie. He really... Uh he took the ball off the half volley and hit it first time and almost beat Sanchez. He made a great save. And a handball on the Invaders, their third foul. Memphis will put it in play in their own end. 9.39 to play in the second quarter. We've had no scoring in this period so far. Invaders and Memphis still tied at 2-2. Susevich drops it back to Tony Wicker, headed away by Pikasinski. Yepes chases it down in the Memphis end. Yepes with Scarelli on him, clears it long. Team is going to intercept that at midfield. Ahead for Celestin. Celestin lets a couple of Memphis defenders clear by. Magic at the Memphis red line to the middle. And the ball knocked away for a second, but they get it back to Magic on the give-and-go feed from Rudy, and it's deflected out of play. And that is going to be a goal kick. Oh, I think he had a goal kick. It went off the defender. I mean, the ball was yeah, shot by Magic. It was deflected by, I think, Yepes. Yeah. And they gave it a goal kick, though. 9.21 to go in the period. Yepes with the ball in the Memphis end. Yepes still dribbling it around. Back to Sanchez. Sanchez in the box. Long lead midfield. Tima stepped in front. Jones couldn't control. Scarelli gets it over to Celestin. Bad pass taken away by Borja. Borja drops it over to Yepes. Memphis on the attack. Borja red line back to Yepes on the right side. Yepes wall feed. Comes out, and Rudy pikasinski has got position on the boards, and here come the invaders on the counter. Celestin up the left side. Celestin, Yepes takes him in the corner. Yepes will try to clear, but Scarelli over to double-team. And Lesh, middle of the floor for Paxos, ahead for Rudy. Rudy, ball deflected by Wicker, but he gets it over to Celestin on the left side. Back to Rudy. He fires. Good save Good by save, Sanchez. Sanchez. Punches that in the corner. Point blank shot. Sanchez come up big there. Tima fires wide to the right. Scarelli after the follow and can't get it. It's dumped out of play by Memphis. And the Invaders will put it in touchline right in the Memphis zone with 8.24 to go in the first half. It was a good ball that Magic took in the corner. He pulled the defender out. He laid it back to Rudy. Rudy hit it first time. Sanchez came up big again. Celestin to put it in play. Outside Paxos. And he put it in the stage. I don't know if that was the best thing to do there on that shot. He, uh, he had an available man over in the other corner, and he thought he could get the shot on goal to put a little pressure because we had a screen going. But um, unfortunately, the ball went up over the stage. 8.22 to go in the first half. Invaders and Memphis tied at 2-2. Still looking for a goal in this second quarter for Cheryl Rowan of Navarre, our United Bank contestant. Sanchez with the ball in the goal box for Memphis. Sanchez comes out. Ahead it comes to Yepes. Forward for Pesnecker. Pesnecker with Celestin on deep. Backs it up outside the Canton red line. They put it in the air in the corner. Paxos trying to get inside of Borja. Does, but they knock it to Hantac. Hantac on Tima. Back outside to Yepes on the right point. Down in the corner. Tima inside Hantac. Hantac rips minutes. it down. and there, It should be two minutes, but they don't call it. They give him the foul. Oh, he almost took Timmy's leg off there. He spun him all the way around. They've got three fouls in this period, and all three of them have been on hand tack. And two of them could have been two minutes. Very violent foul that was. If anyone was two minutes, I think that one was there. Well, they'll call a two-minute touch foul on us. <laughs> yes, I've, I've seen that many a time. Or delay a game, even. Team up ahead for Celestin. You had a couple of those. <laughs> Celestin got pushed by Pesnecker, no call. More than a couple, Bob. And here is uh, Magic, left side at midfield. Moves in on Pesnecker, Hantak over to help out. But they Great get it pass. into an open Scarelli, and a good play by Sanchez to come out, but he's going to get two minutes for tripping as he took Scarelli down. Sanchez gets two for tripping. And I think uh, a shootout. That's the exact same thing. I, I won't agree too much on, on that call because uh, since I'm a goalkeeper, I have to be a little prejudiced. But uh, Sanchez came up with the ball. What they're saying it is there, if he does not come up with the ball, it's a foul because he did trip him. Except he came up with the ball, so I thought for sure it wasn't a foul. Well, they're going to give a penalty kick, I believe, or is it a shootout? 
on this situation, it should be. Was it inside or outside the box? It was inside the box, so I would imagine it'd be a penalty kick. But the same thing happened to me in Milwaukee, and they gave him a shootout. So I'm at the Civic Center where the invaders are going to get either a shootout or a penalty kick. They haven't placed the ball down yet on the two-minute trip call on Sanchez. They score on this. The penalty does not get served. If they don't score, they get a two-minute power play. Something tells me, Bob, that it's going to be a penalty kick because he was pointing to the spot earlier, and I'm not sure if he's going to give him a penalty kick or shootout, but I would say on this situation, the way he was looking earlier, I think it's going to be a straight penalty kick. Now that would be Tobin that would take it then. So far, uh, Don he's Tobin never missed all of these. Us in three years and I hope he keeps his streak up tonight it'll be Tobin on the penalty kick Sanchez steps back in the box Don Tobin getting ready to approach Sanchez in the net Toby With the approach, he shoots, he scores. A goal like that, I've, uh, I've pulled Toby over to the side many times in practice. And for my own practice, I asked Donnie to take shots on me. And I can only recall out of probably 30, 40 shots he's taken, I've only stopped one of his. And he's pretty patented. When he shoots it, it's, it's almost a shoe-in that it's going to be a goal. Sanchez could not stop that one, and the invaders lead 3-2. Now we really need to take our time and start knocking the ball around again. That take counts as a game. power play goal. Yes, it's because yeah. they ran a shot off the clock, second off the clock on that, the delay call. So now we have to start knocking the ball around again. You really have to take control of this game. Kelly in midfield circle for Memphis drops it back to Yepes. Wicker right side at the Storm red line. Lead ball for Tony Johnson. Oh, look at that. With a push on Kondrich, no call. Pesnecker with a shot around the boards. Namoski controls. Johnson came in with a knee up high. That could have been a dangerous play. Outlet on the right side to Kondrich. Ahead for Schlotthauer. Sanchez may have disputed that penalty call, but they owed us one with a couple of the other ones that haven't been called in this game. I have to agree with that. Yeah. There was two really bad calls earlier. And should have been two minutes before. Namoski left side for Schlotthauer. Still in the invader zone. 6.47 in the period. That goal by Tobin makes a winner out of Cheryl Rowan of Navarre. You got the tickets and the dinners and the United Bank coffee mug. Congratulations, Cheryl Rowan of Navarre. Namoski long lead. Uh, Yepes had some trouble with that, but now we'll clear it in the box for uh, Sanchez. Six and a half minutes to go in the half. Sanchez outlet to Wicker, left side, Keo on now him. Now we need to put some pressure on him. Man. Back in the box, he sends it long, bad pass, headed away by Schlotthauer, lands at the feet of Randy, but Yepes had him screened. And again, it's cleared out by Sanchez. Kelly sweeps it over on the right side for Johnson. Johnson with Kondrich and Keo on him. And the ball squirts down in the corner. Schlotthauer dumps it around Tony Johnson. Kia sliding play to knock it away from Kelly. Cleared out past the red line, and uh, Wicker chases that down at midfield for Memphis. Wicker sends that ahead for Tony Johnson. Good play. Good Johnson play backs it away to Kelly. Kelly in the right point. Picked up by Schlotthauer. Kelly inside. Ball knocked away from Pesnecker. Johnson can't control. And here comes Randy Pikasinski. Three on two if they hurry. Randy feeds left side. Schlotthauer fires just wide to the right. And Kia had a chance to stuff that into the post, but it was a little bit behind him. I think the other way is caught uh, Sanchez's arm a little bit there. Kelly with a shot that's deflected over the glass and out of play by Namoski at the other end. That'll be a corner kick from the right side for Memphis with 5.30 to play in the, third, in the uh, second quarter. It's really hard to see from up there, but uh, Walter's shot from there, I know from practice with him all the time. He doesn't miss those too much, and I don't think that was wide. I think Sanchez got a hand on that. I may have. Except Key was standing at the far post if he didn't. Outside, Beck with a shot, and that's in the cheap seats. And it'll be a goal kick, Canton. It seems like we're starting to settle back into playing now. Oh, we lost the ball, and we knocked something over down there. Is that one of the photographer's lights? or? Yes, I, I yeah, it is one of the photographer's lights. One of the balls, uh, one of the fans threw the ball back in and knocked over the photographer's light, and uh, I don't think he's too happy about that, Bob. 
looking yep. at it. I don't know if it works or not. He's trying to get a reading off it now. I don't know if it works. Well, anyway, here comes Namoski. He's still in the box with it. Clock rolling, 5.20 to play in the first quarter as Billy comes out through the arc. Namoski out to the red line. Invaders lead 3-2. Schlothauer, Kia, and Tobin have scored for Canton. Lead ball, Pikasinski in the corner on Beck, left side. And double teamed by Susevich, but Rudy able to get it out. Now Vasquez over to help out. And Celestin took it away from him. Sliding play by Beck, and Magic goes down, and that's the fourth foul. The trip call on tackle. Memphis. Another vicious tackle that they're just... No two minutes called on it. Celestin back to Tima, and now Magic on the left side. Magic inside Susevich, wall pass knocked away by Beck. And Tima able to step inside Vasquez in the left point to keep it in the Memphis zone. Tima winds and fires in the corner. Celestin double teamed and had it knocked away, but Magic with a deflection, it's up in the air. Straight out, Paxos clears it for Tima. Tima trying to get inside of Pendleton on the left side. Now Timmy will back up. Double teamed by Vasquez. Timmy tries to go inside. Scarelli ends up with it and back outside it comes for uh, Paxos. Paxos around one. Ball knocked away by Vasquez. And here comes Hantak. Hantak had it picked away by Scarelli. Scarelli had it knocked back by Vasquez. Hantak left side. Susevich shot. Hantak. Good play by Namovsky to clear that away from Hantak. Billy might have gotten kicked in the face. Billy's upset. I think Hantak kicked him in the face. Hantek's just out there kicking everybody. Uh, Billy stripped the ball off his foot, and Hantek was so fr frustrated, it looked like he just kicked Billy right after him. Celestin lost it. Hantek knocked it back, and now Hantek has it left side at midfield. That may generate him to some fireworks, too. Yeah, if he don't just start settling down, I think there's going to be some calls against him. If not, Billy might even go out after him. Ball intercepted by Celestin. Here they come, four on two. Celestin left side, Scarelli. He feeds out front. It's behind Rudy. And Magic has it out front. Magic on the right point. Moves to the middle. Three and a half minutes to go in the half. Magic trying to get inside. Jones does. Now Pikasinski posted up front of the box. Back to the net. Now Celestin. Celestin left side, Paxos. Paxos wants the feed off the wall. Rudy scores. That's Scarelli. Scarelli with a goal. That was a great goal. Mike uh, took the ball from the corner. He seen he could knock it around the boards, but not low because the goalkeeper had it covered. So Mike put it off the glass eye, went over the goalkeeper's head, and there was Lesh standing for a full volley on the far post. Scarelli's 14th goal of the year. Paxos gets his fifth assist. Time of the goal is 11:42, And the Invaders now back up by two at 4-2. Pretty feet. They've, they've scored some nice-looking goals tonight. He's really knocked the ball around well again. Whenever we knock the ball around uh, like that, it seems like that we score the good goals. Wicker working on <laughs> Kia at the Memphis red line ahead to Borja. Ramiro Borja double teamed by Schlotthauer and Randy Walter deflects for Kia, but it's a little far for him. And Wicker's got it back for Memphis. Wicker left side at midfield ball intercepted by Schlotthauer, who stepped in front of Borja. Left side to Randy. Randy tries to get it back to Walter. Jones knocked that away from behind. And Borja's got it for Memphis, and now it's Tony Pesnecker. Pesnecker, midfield, ahead for Borja. Borja outside the box on Kondrich. Now in the corner, back to the net. Toby over to help out, and he dumps it out on the left point to Pesnecker. 2.38 to go in the half. Outside Handball. Jones, hit him in the hand, no call. Jones taken down, Namoski able to clear it out to Randy Pikasinski. And back to Don Tobin, ahead for Kia. Kia off his chest, trying to get inside. Yep, has nobody marking Randy. He gets Randy on the left side. Randy's got to chase it in the corner. By this time, far. Yepes is out, grabs him, holds him down. No call. Coming the other way is Borja. The referees are losing control of this game right now. They're Borja knocked away by Randy, and then they call that one. Now there's a call there. Now he's going to get two minutes on Borja for unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, that was not a good decision by Borja. It You're not wearing foul. that captain's band. You don't go over there and do that. No. It was a good foul by Randy. It was an accidental foul. He ran into him. Uh, Yepes ran into Randy's space. Randy knocked him down. And then it seems that Borja wanted uh, more than that. He wanted two minutes. And when he yelled at the referee, the referee said, I'll give you two minutes. Only you're the one that's going to serve it. That's right. Borja slammed the door as he went in the box. When we do that, we get four. <laughs> I've seen that happen many times. Poor Tim Tima one night. He, he got a bunch that way. Two 
15 to go in the first half. The Invaders will go on the power play. The Invaders got to watch it. They've got five fouls. Oscar Pisano in for the first time on the power play for Canton. And here we come on the attack. Pikasinski drops it back for Toby in the midfield circle. Toby across the Memphis red line. Left side slot hour. He's going to let it fly, and that's in the stage out of play. That didn't miss by much, Bob. Uh, if he could have got over that a little bit more, I think it would have beat Sanchez because he got there late as it was. 144 in the penalty, 157 in the period. Now's a good time to get a goal. If we can get a goal right here before halftime, I think it could shut the door on it. Uh, they're getting very physical right now. They're knocking us around because they're, they're really frustrated. So a goal right here might just close the door on it. Could be. A couple so, of them have just been downright dirty. More than downright dirty. And they haven't <laughs> been getting called. That's true. Pesnecker clears it out. And it goes down in the Canton zone where Susevich has it there for Memphis. Invaders in the power plate. Kia with a deflection. Susevich tries to head it away, but it lands right at the feet of Don Tobin. Minute and a half left in the penalty. Minute 43 in the first half. Invaders lead 4-2. Tobin out to the Memphis red line. Right side, Pisano. Oscar back to Tobin. A minute 20 in the penalty. Left side, Schlotthauer. And he fires off the glass. Kia on the right side. Dumps it back out to Toby. Toby. Red line, center of the floor. Steps over once, now feeds right side Pisano. Back to Tobin in the middle. Minute six in the penalty. Right side to Oscar. He's going to let it go. It's blocked out front. And coming the other way is Beck for uh, Memphis. Beck up the left side across the Invader red line. Shot in a Mosky with a save out front. And the Invaders go the other way with 53 seconds left in the penalty. There's still a lot of time left in the penalty. We knocked the ball around. I think we can still get a goal here. Tobin. Memphis red line, right side feed to Pisano, right back to Toby, left side Schlotthauer. He winds, he fires, good save that time by Sanchez, and Pendleton dumps it out of play. Just to show you the power of Walter shot, Sanchez came out to make that save, and it actually knocked him back on his rear end. So uh, Walter has a lot of power behind his shots. And 38 was... seconds of the penalty, 51 in the quarter. <laughs> yeah, Walter, they don't call him Thunderfoot for nothing. That's true. Schlotthauer out in the red line to Tobin, right side to Pisano. Pisano thought about the shot, instead feeds Tobin. 30 seconds in the penalty. Toby left side, Walter, back to Tobin. And Tobin on the right side to Pisano. Pisano looking inside and now feeds Toby. They move a little bit closer with each pass. Toby through the middle, out the boards. The shot knocked in by Schlotthauer and then cleared out by Pesnecker. And with 12 seconds left in the penalty, Namoski has it at midfield. 22 now in the period as Pisano across the red line. Oscar left side Tobin, five seconds in the penalty. Schlotthauer centers for Rudy. Back out to Toby. Penalty is over and Pisano fires wide. Ten seconds to go in the half. Schlotthauer over to Pisano. Seven seconds in the period. Walter centering ball for Rudy. Rudy has it knocked away and Borja comes out with it and that's going to be the end of the first half. With a score, the Canton Invaders four, the Memphis Storm two. We come back to the Civic Center in just a moment. about to get underway. The Invaders by two, scoring two in each of the first two quarters. Memphis had two in the first and shut out in the second. It'll be Kia, Tobin, Randy Pikasinski, Schlotthauer, and Condridge for Canton. Memphis will counter with Beck, Pendleton, Hantak, Vasquez and Susevich. I think the big key right away is the first goal, Bob. If we get the first goal, I think we can really put it to them and 
show them that we want this game more. If they do, it Definitely. makes it a little tighter. Definitely force them out of that low pressure. That's right. Kia dumps it down into the invader zone. Uh, Condridge clears for Tobin. Back around the boards for Tomo and in the goal box for Bill Namofsky. Just underway in the third quarter. No scoring in the half. Invaders lead 4-2. Pat Sparks of Canton are contested this quarter in our lucky Invader fan contest. Billy outside the box. Short outlet right side to Toby who taps it right back to the Mosque, and they still back up in a low pressure. Yeah, they're going low pressure, it looks like, but I think the time will change if they don't score early. The Mosque over to Tobin. Tobin with Susevich. Susevich comes up and gives him a little bit of better pressure, but now the Mosque outlet on the left side to Schlotthauer. Vasquez back with him. Toby dumps it back again to Mosque. It looks like they want to spread him out a little bit. Yeah, now's the time when we knock the ball around. We make them chase. The Mosque right side to Kia. Kia back to Namofsky. They've been chasing a lot of the game. That makes you tired toward the end, too, now, doesn't it? That's right. And if they get tired, then uh, we can really run off the ball a lot better. Schlotthauer forward for Randy. Gets it away from Beck over to Tobin. Back to Schlotthauer at midfield. And again, back to Bill Namofsky. We're playing very patient now, which is very smart of Trevor Dawkins. We're Played really knocking it around. Namofsky still inside the red line. Now comes out across it. We played a minute and a half of the third quarter. The ball is still moved. with the ball at midfield. Memphis still not marking him. Now Billy sends it ahead and it's caught on the fly in the box by Sanchez. Outlet Vasquez. He clears to midfield. Hantak is there with Condrich. Condrich gets position on the boards. Hantak spins inside. He shoots. Blocked by Kia. Loose out front. Goal by Vasquez on the follow. Well, there's your first goal, and it didn't go the way we wanted it to. Well, we were hoping it would go the other way, but that was a good individual effort by Hantek. He really he took the ball down the corner. Tomo was on him. He stripped the ball from Tomo, came in. Billy made the first save. The ball went off Billy off the boards, and it was knocked across to Vasquez. And Vasquez, when he knocked it in, there was no one around him. Minute 51 of the period, Vasquez, 22nd goal of the year. And Hantak picks up his 10th uh, assist. Vasquez is the leading scorer on this uh, Memphis team with 38 points. Rudy Pikasinski leads Canton with 64. Celestin dumps it down in the invader zone for Rudy Pikasinski. Back to the net on Yepes. Outside of the Magic Man. Celestin on Pesnecker. Pesnecker blocked his shot. Borja pushes Magic down. No call. Magic looks up at the ref saying, hey, what's going on here? Tima drops it back to Namoski. 12.47 to go third quarter. Canton 4, Memphis 3. Tima with the ball. Midfield right side for Canton. Ahead in the Memphis zone. Lesh can't get it. Now back outside to Rudy. Rudy winds, fires. That one's over the glass and out of play. And it'll be a goal kick for Memphis with 12.35 to go in the third period. <laughs> Four three is our score. We had a good chance there. Rudy just barely hit it wide, and uh, I think our chance is going to start coming now. Sanchez with the ball in the goal box for Memphis. Outlet midfield. It's beyond Jones, and Tima has an easy time with that. Dump it in the goal box for Bill Namoski. Namoski still holds. Now drops it on the floor, and Billy will come out with it. And I imagine they'll keep doing this until, until they try to mark the keeper. It looks like they're going to stay low pressure now for the fact that... Uh, uh, they're only they one goal yeah. down. Right. Jones comes up to apply the heat, but Paxos clears to Tima. Tima into the Memphis zone. Ball knocked away by Jones, and coming the other way is Borja. And Tima's going to get two for retaliating on Jones as he took him down. It's exactly what we were talking about we weren't doing. Uh, Jones went into Tima really hard. Uh, kicked Tima very very flagrantly in the shin and uh, as Timmy got up he was still kicking him the referee couldn't see because Tima's body was in the way well Timmy grabbed his leg unfortunately they always see the second foul not the first foul 301 the time of the penalty Tima goes off for holding Timmy limps a little bit as he goes to the penalty box first power play for Memphis of the night on the year they're 20 of 88 for 23 percent the invader penalty killers have given up 25 goals in 91 man down situations 73% success rate in killing the penalties. Frick, Randy Pikasinski, Lola, and Kondrich in to kill the penalty. Hantak, Jones. 
Vasquez, Pesnecker, and Beck, the power play unit for the Memphis Storm. So Memphis with a man advantage for the first time tonight. The Invaders one of two on power plays. Pesnecker, left side, it comes for Beck. Back outside to Pesnecker. Pesnecker, couple of steps in. Beck in the corner, fires through the box. The ball knocked away by Lola and then knocked into stage by Vasquez. Be a goal kick for the Invaders with a minute 44 left in the penalty. And 11.43 showing in the third quarter clock. Invaders lead 4-3. Memphis has the only goal of this half. It belongs to Martin Vasquez. Namoski pushes it straight ahead for Lola. Lola up against the boards. Ball knocked away by Hantak. Hantak through the middle. Open Vasquez. Shot no. Followed by Jones is wide. And Randy Pikasinski dumps it in the box for Namoski. Long outlet for Frick. Frick with Pesnecker up the left side of the floor. Fricky backs it up for Kondrich. And now Randy right side at midfield. A minute 20 left in the penalty. Randy Pikasinski drops the ball back for Kondrich. Kondrich in the goal box for Namoski. Namoski, airborne, midfield. Pesnecker dumps it ahead, and here comes uh, Vasquez. Vasquez, left side, hand tack in the corner. Hand tack, Lola with him, and he gets through the two, but the ball knocked away by Randy outside. Pesnecker to Vasquez, his shot wide to the left. Beck takes it back out on the point. 54 seconds of the penalty, shot wide left again. Frick controls for Canton. Takes it away from Beck. Good move by Frick to get around Beck. Fricky, ball picked away by Vasquez, and here comes Memphis on the counterattack. Vasquez with Kondrich feeds Jones. He shoots wide and missed hand tack on the post. And Randy Pikasinski knocks it away from hand tack on the boards. Players on the right side for Kenny Lola. Lola forward for Randy. Randy up the right side. Nobody marking Frick to the left. Wall pass comes out a little bit ahead of Fricky. And he has to chase it back outside. Gets a go good move around Jones. Lola had the ball knocked away by Vasquez, but Kondrich cleared it away from Hantek. And with 16 seconds left in the penalty, Sanchez pushes it ahead for uh, Pesnecker. Now Jones. Jones, ball knocked away by Kondrich in the corner. Schlothauer on the field for Canton on the shorthanded team controls and dumps at the length of the floor, and that'll kill the penalty. So it was a good kill by the boys. They really worked hard. They didn't have that many opportunities. And... Team are back out on the floor. Vasquez, right point. The invader defense is no Lola on him. Vasquez with a shot. That's in the stage. Goal kick, Canton. Now we can make a complete change. It was a, a very good man down there for us. We really, uh, they did their job well. They uh, had two good chances to score, too, on top of that, which... Uh, Steve Frick and Kenny Lola valuable in that situation because they can control the ball and chew clock up at midfield or when the ball's in an area where Memphis isn't going to score. And that's what we really need. If the ball's down there, it makes it easy on us goalkeepers, and we like that a lot. You sure do. That's why we you? like those guys out there. Schlotthauer working on Tony Johnson back in the goal box for Namofsky. Billy will put it on the floor ahead to Walter, left side at the Camp red line. Schlotthauer out to midfield. Tony Carbignani in for the first time for Memphis. Kia back to the net in the left corner. Ball knocked away and coming the other way is Johnson. Johnson off the feed from Wicker across the Invader red line. Ball deflected by Randy Pikasinski. And Kondrich clears ahead for Tobin. Tobin up the left side for Kia. Kia lost it off his foot. Johnson tried to knock it back, but Kia was there to cut off the pass to Sanchez. And Johnson has to come out with it himself. Now Carbignani left side at midfield. Long lead is behind uh, Kelly. Kelly chases it back up against the board. Jepez on the right point. Randy on him. Inside it comes to Johnson. Johnson can't get the shot away. And Kia controls the loose ball ahead to Tobin. Tobin bounces it over Kelly. Tobin and Johnson collide. Kelly knocks it away. And Johnson comes back with it for Memphis. Memf uh, Memphis with Johnson at the red line. Left side to Carbignani. That right leg heavily uh, with a lot of big ace bit wrap around it. That wasn't there at the All-Star game. Through the middle, Kelly didn't get much of a shot off, and Namoski controls that. Outlet right side, Randy leaves it there for Schlotthauer. Eight and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Thunderfoot, middle of the floor at the Invader red line to Kondrich. Tomo picked up in the midfield circle by Carbignani. Feeds left side to Tobin. Tobin being guarded by Kelly. Back to Kondrich. Kondrich lead ball off the right side boards for Kia. Kia matched up against Wicker. Carbignani to mid to double team. Carbignani for holding. That's the first foul of the quarter. Kia drops it back to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer with Johnson in pursuit. Left side to Tobin. Tobin up against Kelly. 
Tobin ahead for Randy Pikasinski right side of midfield against Juan Yepes. Pikasinski forward for Condridge trying to get inside Carbignani does Carbignani block the shot Tomo got another one Carbignani clears out to midfield Tony Johnson there against Schlotthauer. Two former Columbus teammates go at it. Johnson shot wide. Rebound controlled by Randy Pikasinski. Knocked away from him by Yepes. Down in the corner. Schlotthauer took it away from Johnson. Yepes scissor play to take it back. Centers no one home out front. And Condrich has it for the invaders. A little, sl a little sloppy play now, Bob. We're not really knocking the ball around. There's a flagrant foul. Kia taken down by Kelly. That's the second foul on Memphis. Still looking for an invader goal for our contestant, Pat Sparks of Canton. Rudy Pikasinski in, drops it back to Schlotthauer. Walter winds, fires, and the rebound just knocked away. Followed by Rudy is wide to the left. And Memphis controls in their own end. Pendleton against Rudy Pikasinski. Packs it up in the goal box for Sanchez, who just did a good job on that initial shot by Rudy. Now Pendleton ahead for Beck. Beck at the red line. Scarelli's out on him. And back in the box for Sanchez. Still in the box is Pendleton. Lead ball midfield for Borja. Borja, or that's uh, Susevich rather, had it knocked away. And Tim Tima has it for Canton. Tima ahead for Les Scarelli. Scarelli with a move around Pendleton. They played together in Columbus as well. Back to Celeste in left side. Paxos winds and fires, and that one's up in the crowd. And that'll be a goal kick for Memphis with 6.40 to go in the third period. <coughs> and what do we got here? Timeout on the field, I believe. Yeah. Let's keep it right here. Memphis has the only goal, but the invaders are creating opportunities. Now we got to put one home. Hard running that they're doing. So in the long run, maybe towards uh, the beginning and the middle of the fourth quarter, it's going to take Eve and... Uh, the advantage will go towards us. 4-3 Invaders. It'll be a goal kick for Memphis. Sanchez to put it in play to Pendleton. Pendleton taps it back in the box for Sanchez. And he picks it up. Looks long. Outlet right side midfield for Hantak with Tima. Hantak and Tima shoulder to shoulder up the right side. Timmy sliding play to knock it away. Hantak hacks him in the back of the legs. And Tima gets whistled for the trip. First foul on the Invaders. They didn't signal that. That's about the only thing he could have called in that position was a trip. They dump it through. Hantak with a header right into the chest of Namofsky, who grabs it and holds on. Hantak and Tima could turn into an interesting battle before this thing is over yet. It seems to be that way. You know, Hantak is very physical, and so is Timmy, but... Uh, Timmy, don't take anything away from him. He won't back off either. Rudy Pikasinski double team. The ball knocked away to midfield. Now Pendleton back in the Memphis zone to Beck on the left side. Beck picked up at the red line by Scarelli. Vasquez middle of the floor. Paxos on him. Clears it out. Celeste knocked it away from Susevich. Pendleton has it back in the Milwaukee zone. Now Vasquez out through the circle. Ahead for Hantak inside. Tima, he shoots. Kick Great saving save, a dandy Billy. by Namofsky. He came out well. Coming the other way is Celeste. Ahead to an unmarked Tima off the left side. He'll let it go. Kick save out by Sanchez. Tima with a rebound. Put it back in, though. No. Rebound comes out. Paxos at midfield. Dumps it forward, but Susevich clears. Pass was blocked by Celeste. Tima and Vasquez into the boards. And Vasquez comes up on Paxos in the Canton defensive zone. Now Hantak out front. He'll pass Susevich. Knocked away by Scarelli, but Susevich gets it back. Now he's got a problem with Rudy, who knocks it away. Beck and uh, Lesh fight for it along the boards. And Scarelli able to clear it out to Mike Paxos. And now here is Magic Celestin, left side at midfield. Magic Man working on Vasquez, moves to his right, feeds out front for Rudy. Rudy with a shot, and that surprised Sanchez, but he's just able to get down and hang on to that. That was another time. Sanchez just happened to be going down to his knees, and Rudy turned and hit again, and it was just right at him. He's very come, fortunate. Here comes Vasquez. Ball knocked away by uh, Celeste and Jones with it for Memphis on the left side. Jones, ball knocked away by Paxos. Jones gets it back to midfield to Beck. When uh, Sanchez made that save, he looked down twice to make sure the ball was still there. I think he fact. thought it went through his legs and was yeah. in the back of the net. Pesnecker sends it ahead for Wicker up the right side in the Canton zone, and he put it to the stage. Oh, and that hit a girl in the stage right smack in the face. If you are here in the ends, keep your eye on the ball at all times, folks. Please, please. 
please do that. She's still, uh, looks like that she's in some pain too. <coughs> It'll be a goal kick for Canton. Uh, I think she's, she may be okay now. She's looking around to see what's going on. Yeah, I just think uh, she's a little dizzy right now. 4.20 to go in the period. 4-3, to three, Invaders with the lead. Namoski comes out with the ball for Kent. Billy. Jackson High School product. And the former polar bear out near the midfield circle. Now he backs up a little bit. They want to pull Memphis out of Tad. Make him chase a little. Billy ahead. It's behind Kia. Ball knocked away. Jones has it at midfield for Memphis. Back to Wicker. It's behind him. He gets it out front to Yepes. And now it is uh, Pesnecker. Pesnecker, long ball up in the air. Namoski knocks that away from Jones. Borja couldn't get it up against the boards. And Kondrich comes the other way for Canton. Kondrich leaves it for Tobin. And the Invaders go back on the attack. 3.36 to go in the period. Tobin dumps it down in the left corner in the Memphis end. Yepes clears it back out to midfield and bounces back to Namoski inside the Canton red line. Pesnecker comes in on him. Right side feed to midfield to Kondrich. Kondrich on the left side to Tobin. Tobin to the middle of the floor at the red line to Namoski. Back to Tobin. Tobin sends it long. It's headed up in the air by... Uh, Pendleton, Jones with it over there to Pesnecker. Randy Pikasinski deflects and Tobin has it left side at midfield. Tobin, ball hit Pesnecker in the shoulder. Toby able to get it back. Under three minutes, 2.57 to go in the period. Still looking for that invader goal for Pat Sparks. Tobin, lead ball for Kia, right side for Kondrich. Tomo had to wait on the ball. Borja sliding play to knock it away, and that's going to be the third foul on Memphis as Borja called for the trip. It's a two-feet slide tackle, and when you do that, it's almost always called against you. Don Tobin will put it in play. Touchline right. 2.47 on the clock. We're in the third quarter. Invaders lead 4-3. Tomo clears along the right side of the box. Outside Schlotthauer. He lets it go. Jones blocked it, and they clear it out for Yepes. Right side at midfield. Memphis comes the other way. Yepes ahead to an open. Jones to an open. Borja, he scores. Namoski never had a chance. We got caught there on transition, it looked like. Uh, Walter took a shot outside, and everybody went in for the rebound. The ball was blocked out front, and they had a two-on-one, and the ball was played long up to Jones, and he knocked it across. Time of the goal, 12-24. Borja, his second goal of the night, his ninth of the year. Jones picks up the assist, and Memphis has tied the game up at 4-4 with 2.37 to go in the third quarter. Well, now's the time that we really have to bear down and say, okay, uh, let's dig down inside and let's see what we have left. Because they're tired, they're, they're very uh, very winded, it looks like. Scarelli drops it back to Celestin off the kickoff. Magic, a couple of steps forward. Rudy dumps it over for Celestin, but it's knocked away there by Pendleton. Back down in the corner, Scarelli. What behind the back pass, Magic with a shot off the heel and was just saved by Sanchez. Boy, that would have been one for the highlight film if it went in. Ahead Vasquez, game is tied 4-4. 2-12 to go in the period. Ahead Hantak and Paxos in the Canton defensive zone. Hantak centering ball for Vasquez. He couldn't hold it. And coming the other way is Scarelli. Ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy right side at midfield for Celestin. Magic across the red line. Right side, he's going to let it go. He shoots. Sanchez punches that one out in the corner. Vasquez and Celestin fight for it there. They punch it ahead for Beck. Beck to uh, Susevich, right side at midfield. Minute 45 in the third quarter. Susevich, Vasquez shot, blocked by Paxos. And chased back at midfield by Pendleton. Pendleton, right point, dumps it across for Hantek. Straight up in the air. Headed out by Paxos. And Scarelli can't get it away. Pendleton dumps it back for Hantak at the red line. Tima took it away. Tima lost the ball, though. Hantak gets it back, and Tima gets called for the trip. Second I don't know about that call. That yeah. didn't look too good. Second foul on the Invaders. He was going from the wrong direction to trip it. Down in the corner, shot by Susevich is wide. The rebound comes all the way out to Paxos. Paxos in the counter. Invaders attack three on three. Paxos left side. Wall feed Rudy, and it bounced into Sanchez. Very unlucky break there. Long lead hand tack, dumps it around the boards around Tima, but it rolls in the box for Namoski. 57 seconds in the quarter. 
Celestin around one, picked up by Pesnecker at the Memphis red line. Celestin, a couple of steps in, feeds out front. Ball knocked away, but Scarelli got it back over to Condridge. Tima, front edge of the midfield circle for, for Rudy. Rudy around one, tried to get it to Magic. It went through four pairs of legs, and the ball knocked out in the corner, hit the referee. Rudy centers, but there's nobody home. 31 seconds, and Jones gets it to Pesnecker for Memphis. Pesnecker across the floor and coming up the floor for the Memphis Storm. Masusevic lead for Jones. Shot kick saved by Namoski. Condridge clears for Tima who dumps it in goal for Billy. It's 15 seconds in the quarter. Another good save by Billy. Outlet for Celestin. This is the most he's had to work by far in the game. Celestin on Vasquez. Seven seconds in the period. He shoots. He scores! Sanchez never saw it. No, uh, Magic and... Uh... The other forwards up front have been running screens in front of Sanchez all night, and that's what exactly happened again. And this time the ball wasn't blocked out front, and the Sanchez just didn't happen to be there. Ball rolled right past him with virtually. Th with three seconds left in the quarter, Magic Celestin gets the goal. It's a very big goal, right for the end of the quarter, too. That really should pump up the invaders. Domofsky gets the assist, and the invaders lead 5 to four. Memphis will just dump it down the other end. Namoski catches it. The quarter is over. And with three seconds left in the quarter, Celeste made a winner out of our contestant, Pat Sparks. It was probably close to giving up hope, but Pat, you got the tickets, you got the dinners, you got the t-shirt. Congratulations. We come back to the Civic Center in just a moment. The Invaders five, Memphis quarter. Now's the time we really have to watch yourself. We started backing up there and letting uh, Memphis have all the play. Instead of us taking the play and knocking the ball around, we started letting Memphis take the play. So it's it's time that we start it over again and keep the possession and us take it to Memphis instead of Memphis taking it to us. Randy Pikasinski and Key of the forwards. Tobin at midfield. Schlotthauer and Kondrich on defense for Canton. Borja, Pesnecker, Jones... Yepes and Sanchez stepped outside the box with that ball, no call. And here we come the other way. Wicker is the other player on the floor for Memphis. Yepes has it right now. And the ball knocked away by Key, and Wicker chases it down at midfield. Ahead, Tobin intercepts. Ahead, off the head of Kia. Off the head of Randy. Left side at midfield for Condridge. Condridge had it knocked away by Yepes. Jones comes the other way for Memphis. Jones shoots wide, and the rebound dumped out of play by Namoski. I think more by accident than anything else. I think it hit him on the foot as he came off the boards. He was turning around and looking for it. Well, that was, uh, if it was by accident, it was a good play by Billy because Jones was trying to play the ball off the boards around the defender and run onto it. I think Billy thought it was going to come out a little higher. It looked like he had his arms out like he was going to hold on. There's the ball deflected. Schlotthauer clears out to midfield. Wicker dumps it back for Sanchez, who's outside the box. That ball's intercepted by Randy. Ahead to Kia. Kia with one man to beat. Shot block. Randy gets the rebound back, and the ball knocked away and coming the other way for Memphis. Up, oh, Randy gets the trip as Borja goes down and comes up holding the right ankle. And that one was not a pretty foul to watch there. Randy may be a little bit lucky he didn't get two on that one. I thought uh, he was going to pull the blue card. He went in his pocket, and he kind of left it there. I thought he was going to pull the blue card and go two because he caught him from behind, and he... Uh, kicked one foot, which knocked into the other foot, which made him fall, and I was sure he was going to make the call there. As it is, it's the first foul on either team in the fourth quarter. 14-11 left in the game. The Invaders lead 5-4. to four. Shots on goal, 21-18 for Canton through three quarters. Nine saves for Namofsky, six of them coming in the third quarter. Sanchez has made 13, and they've been distributed fairly evenly. Yeah, uh, Sanchez has been playing really well. He's had a, a good game tonight. He had a bad break on the last goal. But beside that, he's come up with some, some big saves to keep, really keep Memphis in the game. Borja hobbles off, and they'll look at him on the bench. Wicker dumps it long, and that's headed in the middle by Carbignani. Jones with a shot. Hit the crossbar, put up in the air by Tobin, and that's in the aisle in the seats. Memphis will put it in touchline right just outside the curve of the boards in the Invader defensive zone. 14.05 left in the game. 
Outside it comes. Pesnecker sends it up in the air off the glass. Hand tack shoots and scores. To tie it up, he just got it. I think he got it right between the legs of Namoski. Yeah, the ball was played off the boards long, I think by Carbignani. And uh, hand tech brought it down off the boards. It hit first time. Billy went out to play the boards. And when the ball come down, he hit it first time, and the ball went off the inside of, of Billy's leg. It was a great shot. A tough chance for Billy there. Hesnecker gets the assist on hand tech's uh, 20th goal of the year. And Memphis has tied it up again at 5-5. One minute into the period, the time of that goal. Kaczynski drops the kickoff back for Celestin. Celestin ahead for Tima. Tima shot, save, and the rebound knocked away by Pendleton ahead. And Susevich clears for Hantek. Hantek trying to get inside Paxos to the right side and take it down to the corner. Paxi deflects. Hantek got it back, but Rudy able to outrun him from behind and deflected in the box for Namofsky. Now the magic man. Around Carbignani, ahead of the left side at midfield to Paxos. Paxos on the run, looks for the feed. He feeds it out. Oh, he didn't get much on the shot, and Sanchez controls that. Ahead midfield, Hantak can't control. Celestin comes back for camp. 13.25 left in the game. Rudy posted up out front. Rudy backs it ahead to Paxos. He winds, he fires. That's deflected in the air. And back out it comes to midfield. Tina has it in the circle. Right side to Paxos, down in the corner against Carbignani. Paxos through the box, and it's caught by Pendleton, and Sanchez had a little trouble handling that, but caught it off the boards. Yeah, their, their back passes have been not the best in the world. Sanchez is probably wondering, why do you guys do this to me? You, you put me under as much pressure as Canton has been. Tima has it back at midfield, gets around Susevich. Timmy, ball deflected by Carbignani, and Memphis comes the other way. Carbignani, back edge of the midfield circle, left side at midfield for Susevich. Canton five, Memphis five. We are in the fourth quarter, 13, 12, 30, 12, 35 left. Paxos intercepts and dumps it long, but that's going to be a three-line violation on Canton. Memphis will put it in play from the Invader red line. Pendleton to trigger it in for the Storm. Now he leaves it, and Beck puts it in. On the side, centering ball blocked by Tima. They chase it back out to midfield. Vasquez around the boards. Tima stepped in front of Susevich. Susevich got inside with a ball. Centers, and Namoski covers up just inside the line on the box. Quick outlet left side at midfield for Celestin. Celestin moves around Pendleton to the left side. Magic. He fires, and that was blocked out front. And Paxos in the corner. Backs it outside to Les Scarelli. Scarelli moves in, now moves back out. At the red line to Celestin, 11.56 of the game. Celestin around hand tack. He shoots, and it's blocked up in the air. And it goes out of play. It'll be a kick in for Canton in the Memphis zone. 11.52 to play. Game is tied 5-5. Magic would have looked up just a second uh, sooner before he's ready to shoot. He had Walter in the corner all yep. alone. And I really thought he was going to hit him there. But he's seen something maybe that we couldn't see here, and he, he took the shot. Kia, Randy Pikasinski, Don Tobin, Tom Condridge, Walt Slothauer for Canton. Darren Jones, Tony Pesnecker, Martin Vasquez. Juan Yepes and Tony Wicker for Memphis. Tobin dumps it down to Randy in the corner. Yepes stepped in front and pinned it against the boards ahead to Vasquez. Condridge deflects. Yepes gets it back, and it's dumped back in the goal box. Cleared out by Sanchez, but Tobin will chase that down at midfield. Tobin ahead for Randy in the right corner. Tries to head it in for Kia. Ball loose out front. Cleared out by Wicker, and Jones has it at midfield for Memphis. Empty net up there, but they couldn't get anybody in front. Randy with a steal at midfield. Here they come three on two if they hurry. Randy, right side, taken down from behind by Yep as they say play on. Kia has it knocked away by Jones. Kondrich and Vasquez fight for it. Jones clears off the head of Vasquez, and Jones gets it back at midfield for Memphis. 11.09 to play in the game. Pesnecker back at the Memphis red line. Sends it forward, and it's out of play. Sanchez looks like he's hurt over there. I think on the last play, his own player kicked him in the back of the head trying to clear the ball off the line. 11.02 left in regulation. We're tied at 5-5. Ramiro Borja, Memphis, the only player with more than one goal. He has two. <coughs> it's 
Stothauer drops it in the goal box for Namoski. And Billy will come out with it. Tony Johnson thought about stepping forward but hasn't yet. Carbignani is out there too. Namoski across the red line. Left side Schlothauer back to Namoski. Namoski unmarked for Kia. Right side, red line for Kondrich. Kondrich and Wicker fight for it along the boards. Outside Tobin backs it away from Pesnecker. Midfield circle Schlothauer back to Namoski ahead to Walter. 10 20 to go. Schlothauer. Dumps it to the right side for Kondrich. Kondrich on Carbignani. Tomo spins back outside with it. And to midfield it comes to Schlothauer. 2,500 for the crowd at the Civic Center tonight on this Sunday Invader home date. Next Saturday at home against the Toledo Pride, who have been playing very well lately. Bill Namoski. Long lead, Randy Pikasinski and Yepes in a race in the corner. Randy controls, Yepes hauls him down from behind, no call. Tima comes in on Tony Johnson. Johnson gets whistled for obstruction. Tima centers for Randy, he couldn't get it. Kondrich couldn't get it. Carbignani tries to clear. On the right side, it comes to Johnson. Johnson and Kondrich fight for it along the boards. He bumps it ahead for Yepes. Back to Johnson, off his foot, taken away by Celestin for camp. The Magic Man drops it back for Kia. 9.33 left to go in a tie game, 5-5. Paxos, left side at midfield, moves around Carbignani. And Paxos ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy bumps it back for Celestin off the right side boards. Magic, couple of steps in on Yepes. Right side to uh, Rudy and now Tima. Tima, couple of steps forward, pass blocked by Carbignani. Tima chases it down left side at midfield. Pushes it ahead for Rudy Pikasinski. Rudy working on Wicker. Back to the net in the right corner. Rudy sliding play by Johnson, but the ball goes to Scarelli. Scarelli outside to Celestin. Celestin moves to his right on the point. Paxos puts it in the corner for Scarelli. Lash matched up against Pesnecker. Johnson to double team. Johnson deflects. Pesnecker comes away with the ball for Memphis. Stops in the midfield circle. Four invaders are back on D. 8.40 left in the game. Pesnecker drops it over, and Yepes to Beck is Memphis in the line change. Vasquez left side, ahead for Pendleton. Pendleton into the invader zone. In the corner, hand tack, shot wide. <coughs> I think Billy got a piece of that. Oh, and the call In the there. corner, Jones, or rather, Susovic goes down. First foul on the invaders. And the shot blocked by Celestin. And Magic trying to get inside, and there's the second foul on the Invaders. Susevich centers, hand tack, knocked it wide, but they put it in play from the wrong spot, so they're going to make him do it again anyway. Yeah, that was a no call if, if I seen one that time. Magic never touched him. He fell over the ball, and he called the foul. Third foul on the Invaders. I'm sorry, one on Memphis. 8-16 in the period. Outside, shot blocked by Tima. And Timmy taken down by hand tack, and there's the trip. Second foul on Memphis. Coming up the floor is Celestin, left side at midfield for Canton. Magic moves in on Susevich, around one, he shoots, he scores! Oh, he hit the post! How many times are we gonna hit the post this season? Boy, that hit, that hit the inside of the post, I think. Sanchez beaten cleanly on the play. Hand tack for Vasquez up the middle of the floor. Vasquez right side in the zone, knocked it in the box, Namoski dives on it and holds on. Pushes the outlet ahead, left side to Scarelli. Scarelli through the midfield circle for Rudy. Rudy tried to get it back to Lesh, but it was knocked away by Pendleton. The ball was just a little too high for Rudy to handle there. 7.33 to go, game tied, 5-5. Here comes Beck, he winds, he fires, no. Scarelli with a rebound, knocked it to Tima. Tima ahead for Rudy. Here they come, two on two. Rudy taken down. And the uh, ball controlled by Sanchez. Outlet for Vasquez, Scarelli in hot pursuit. Vasquez, the middle for Hantak, knocked away by Paxos. Tima got a piece of it, too. Hantak gets it back in the corner. Centers nobody home. Tobin comes the other way. 7.05 left in the game. Tobin winds, fires, no. Rebound, Pendleton, and then controlled by Sanchez. And you're going to get a foul on Rudy. And now we see... A an act by a goalkeeper trying to get a two-minute penalty. And he got and he it. Did. A good act to do it every time, and that's exactly what happened. Rudy didn't even touch him. Barely bumped him, you could say. Never mind that they allowed a more flagrant foul to count as a Memphis goal in the first half. I have to agree there, Bob. That was a very, uh, very bad call there for, especially with seven minutes left. 
you call a foul like that, that's very poor officiating on their part. Well, the thing is, you call it right away. You don't let what the goalkeeper does influence whether it's a two-minute foul or not. I know. He called the foul at first, and then all of a sudden he pulls the blue card out. You see out Sanchez almost. down there, and then he calls the two minutes. Well, that's not the way you do it. Or shouldn't be, anyway. I have to agree there. But that's... Uh, Memphis 0 for 1 in the power. Not a popular call here. Now's the time that we, we really have to rise up to the case, and if we... Uh, we shut down this power play here that they have of Memphis. I think that uh, we're going to really put it to them. Here's the fun bunch. Randy Pikasinski, Steve Frick, Tom Kondrich, and Tim Tima. We might even pull one out here in the back of Sanchez's net. Sanchez dumps it over on the right side. And coming out of there with it is Susevich, now Pesnecker. Pesnecker. Left side of the invader zone to Beck. Minute 45 left in the penalty. Hesnecker. Right side. Susevich centers. Hantak had it knocked away and controlled in the goal box by Namofsky. Minute 30 left in the penalty. Billy long outlet for Frick. Frick heads it down to the red line. Hesnecker slipped and lost it for a second, and Randy almost came through there with that. But they clear, and Randy There's taken down from behind by Beck. And that'll be foul number three on Memphis. And now the invaders in the counter with man down team. Randy Pikasinski for Steve Frick. And Frick will try to chew some clock here as he moves away from Pesnecker. Over to Tima. Tima launches it long, and that's over the glass and out of play. With a minute eight left in the penalty and 6.08 to go in the game. Timmy seen Randy going into the corner. He made a beautiful long pass, and it just barely went over the glass. It was a very great opportunity that we could have had. Game is tied 5-5. We're in the fourth quarter. The Invaders and the Memphis Storm. Hesnecker with the ball in midfield for Memphis. Left side of the point to Beck. Across the floor for Vasquez. In the corner, hand tack, wall pass, knocked away by Randy, cleared out by Tima. Beck with a shot, that one's in the crowd. 49 seconds left in the Memphis power play. Goal kick for the Invaders, 5.49 left in the game clock. Tima will just send it out to midfield. Vasquez steps in front of the Invader bench, knocked away from behind by Randy, taken by Kondrich, ahead to Frick. Frick over to Randy. Randy dumps it inside back. Kondrich almost got inside there, but it went in the goal box. And Sanchez clears out for Vasquez. 33 seconds in the penalty. Lead ball hand tack centers. It's behind Jones in the corner. Kondrich beat him outside, but knocked it to Vasquez. Now hand tack centers. Nobody home there. Beck with a shot. Kick save and a beauty by Namaski. And the follow by Vasquez is in the seats. Good save by Billy. He really came out, got down his angle, and he made the guy shoot it low because he had no other, other place to shoot it, and he shot it. Billy made a great kick save, cleared the ball wide. Another goal kick with 21 seconds left of the penalty. And again, Tima dumps it out to midfield. Frick controls inside the red line, gets inside Pesnecker. Knocked Two out minutes. Play. That should be delay of game. Two it minutes. Is. No. They're they not going to call it. it. That should be delay of game that's, on Sanchez. That's by far delay of game. As he clearly swept it out. The majority of my uh, t 20 minutes I've received this year have been on that exact same play. And I think it's unfair that uh, some calls are made and others aren't. Seems like lately they haven't been calling that. I don't know if that's been a directive from the league office or what. I'm not Team sure. Corner kick out front and the ball controlled by, Vas by Sanchez. Long lead for Hantak. Ten seconds in the penalty. Hantak pushes off on Kondrich. He shoots. He scores. Hantak took his hand and pushed off on Kondrich. No call, of course. And they get the goal. Three of their goals have been scored on fouls. That was unbelievable. I can't even imagine that. The referee was following the play very closely. He's seen Hantek shove him off. I mean, there was no doubt in my mind. He put the whistle up to his mouth and let play continue. I'm shocked. I can't believe the call was not made. Time of the goal, 9.54. Hantek with an assist from the officials. And Sanchez will get the assist. And Memphis leads for the first time tonight, 6-5. to five. Looks like Oscar's out on the field now. Incredible. Three of their six goals have been scored on fouls. 
I know, that's, uh, it feels like we're playing at home. When we play away like this, calls are made like this all the time. When we played at home, they're against us too. Lead we ball told to Randy, headed away by Beck in the corner, and Carbignani clears. 4.56 left in the game. Memphis six, Canton five. Antac now has two goals, the last two for Memphis. Condors dumps it back in the goal box for Bill Domoski. Domoski out across the red line. Dumps it long for Tobin. And it comes out behind him, and Yepes will clear it away from Kia. Pisano in a race with uh, Hantak, and he dumps it in the goal box for Nomoski. 4.28 to play. Nomoski outlet to Pisano. Kelly on him. And again, Nomoski. And Billy comes out with it. Johnson is pushing and holding, doing everything else to Condrich out the yeah, red line. Yeah, I can see no that. Call. And they're not making that call either. Left I side feed to Tomo. Tomo in the point. Moves inside. He winds. He fires. It's blocked out front. And Kelly will try to clear for Memphis. Kelly at midfield. Pisano with him. Oscar steps in front of the boards and dumps the ball back. And Namoski pins it there and uh, head for Pisano. 3.53 left in the game. Kondrich back in the box for Namoski. Namoski picked up by Carbignani, but he gets it ahead to Pisano. Up the right side for Kia. Kia on the run. Winker better hurry. Kia fires. Hit the crossbar. What a shot by Kia. Kelly dumps it back. That's cleared long. Nice. And it falls just shy of the red line, so Namoski has to play it. Three and a half minutes to go. We're going to have to be th thinking real soon about the sixth attacker. Yeah, Namoski, right side of the midfield circle. Moves to the left of Tony Johnson, ahead for Pisano. Pisano backs it up to Namoski, and he's taken down by Kelly. Now they make the call. After he let the pass go. We had the advantage on, and he's not giving us the advantage. Four fouls on each team. Tobin ahead for Rudy Pikasinski in the corner. There's a foul on Rudy. And it's not the way. Randy, I'm sorry. Kondrich, he's fouled by Johnson. No call. Magic has it at midfield working on Johnson. Magic to the left side. Three minutes left in the game. Celeste, a couple of steps in between Johnson and There's, Kelly. Oh, Drops man. it back. Pisano with a shot and Sanchez with a big save. But they called they the called foul the before first. the shot. That's five on Memphis. Next one would put him on the power play. That was a very, very bad foul. Tony Johnson slapped Magic right in the face. Knocked him straight down to the ground. I, uh, that another flagrant two. foul. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Celestin dumps it back to Pisano. Pisano over to Kia, right corner of the box. Kia moving left to right, back to the net. Pisano on the right point. Pisano puts it in the air. Ball knocked away by Kelly out of play. They wanted Paxos in the corner. Invaders will kick it in with 2.42 left in the game. Now we have to go for the sixth foul, Bob. This is the time when we got to draw that, that sixth foul from there. And uh, Steve Frick out there with Tim Tima, Magic Celestin, Mike Paxos, and Rudy Pikasinski, and Namoski way out near the midfield line. I think they're going to try to get the ball to Fricky to draw that sixth foul. If they do, I'll bet you see Billy leaving in a hurry. Yeah, I think so, too. 2.42 left. Celeste in the air for Rudy. Rudy back to Frick. Frick to Tima. Tima straight up in the air. Headed out. Sanchez all over the back of Pikasinski. But they get it back outside and Paxos clears to Namoski. And they will not call timeout with 2.28 left. Ahead to Tima. Now Magic. 6-5 Memphis. Celeste across the red line. He moves. He shoots. It's blocked. Rebound comes back out to Frick. 2.17 left in the game. I think it's time uh, real soon that we're going to have to start looking for it. Tima right side at midfield. Pass was blocked. Frick sends it in for Paxos. Paxos had a bad hop off the wall. Vasquez comes the other way. 2.05 left. Vasquez knocks it back. Pendleton up in the air. And Hantak heads it over, but Tima controls. Tima ahead, and they dump it back for Namoski. He calls timeout with 1.51 left to go. And the Invaders will go to a sixth attacker. We'll come back in 30 seconds. The sixth attacker, it will be Oscar Pisano. Invaders are due, really. They've, I don't know how many times we've gone to this, but the Invaders have not scored we've been, uh, a sixth attacker goal this year, and they've given up five or six. And yeah, we've been struggling on the sixth attacker. We're uh, our power play this year, a matter of fact in comparison to last year because that's about the same as our sixth attacker. And we've been really struggling, so I just think it's time, and we are due. So let's see what happens here. 
They are due to get a goal. They need one to tie to put it into overtime. Pisano will come on as the extra attacker. 151 left in the game. And Memphis leading by a score of 6-5. to five. Like Only Pisano it. with Paxo, Celestin, Schlotthauer, Frick, and Pikasinski, Rudy Pikasinski, Yepes, Pesnecker, Pendleton, Beck, and Susevich. So they really don't have a true forward out there. A lot of defenders in for Memphis. Four defenders and a midfielder. And here we go. Celestin up the floor for the Invaders. Minute 47 in the game. Magic left side. Schlotthauer. He fires off the boards. It's headed up in the air. Magic will try to follow. Ball knocked away by Susevich. And it's loose out front. And Susevich has it at the red line. Out to midfield. Schlotthauer is there. And he dumps it back to Pisano. A minute 32 left in the game. Pisano. Midfield. Memphis red line. Left side Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer in the corner. Wall feed loose out front. Schlotthauer tries to center again. And that one is controlled by Sanchez with a minute 20 to go. Sanchez will take his time getting rid of it. And a high, long ball out to midfield. Paxos over Susevich. Ball knocked away from Pikasinski by Pesnecker, though. And Yepes controls for Memphis. Yepes down in the Canton zone with a minute three left. Yepes down in the corner. Pisano out to knock it away. And there's a foul Yepes there. Yepes with a push that would have been the sixth foul, but of course they don't call it. Yepes knocks it away from Celestin from behind. Pesnecker at midfield. Dumps it down in the Canton zone. 49 seconds left in the game as Pisano comes out with it. Pisano for the Magic Man. Celestin across the red line. Around one. Taken down. There's the sixth foul on Susevich. They had to call that. Another foul that, uh, that's uh, two fouls in this uh, last minute 51 that should have been called, and they finally called this one. So this would put him in effect up two men, but only 38 seconds left. I don't know how much time's uh, left for us as far as uh, is it going to be enough or not. 38 seconds. Time of the penalty is 1422. Invaders one for two on the power play, but that one was the penalty kick goal by Tobin. So they call a time. They'll talk things over here. In effect, a two-man advantage, six on four. But they only have 38 seconds to work, and they need the goal. You know, they can't. They, this penalty would not carry into overtime no matter what, because if they don't score, we don't have overtime. If they do score, the penalty expires. So, yeah, we do need to go. The good point is we do have the ball. It's not their ball. They fouled us, so it is our ball, and we can try to work it in relatively quickly. Last year in Milwaukee, Pisano put one in with three seconds left to force an overtime that the Invaders won, and we are due for the sixth attacker goal. Kia, Schlotthauer, Tobin, Frick, Pikasinski, Paxos, and Pisano for Canton. Pesnecker, Beck, Pendleton and Susevich for Memphis. Sixth attacker plus the power play. 38 seconds left in the game. Tobin will put it in play from about seven feet in front of the arc. Right in the middle of the floor. Frick in the box. Kia and Rudy down by the boards. Right side, Pisano down in the corner, Rudy. Rudy centers, it's up in the air and controlled by Sanchez with 33 seconds to go. Sanchez will hang on and take some time. Long outlet to midfield. And it's off the head of Tobin, taken back by Pisano. 22 seconds to go. Pisano across midfield, in the zone. To Walter. Pisano, left side, Tobin fires, hit the crossbar! 14 seconds, Pisano, Kia in the corner, that's Rudy in the corner, tries to center, ball taken away. Cleared out to midfield, eight seconds, eight seconds left in the game. Pisano back to Rudy, he fires, it's blocked with three seconds. Two seconds, one, the game is over. And Memphis has defeated the Invaders six to five in the Civic Center. It's a very uh, heartbreaking loss. Very heartbreaking because uh, the goals that were scored were uh, what we seen out here at least was very cheap goals. They got a lot of foul goals, as we called them. Three of their six were scored on fouls that were not called. And it was uh, it's a heartbreaking loss. You know, this is uh, crunch time. And... Seven shots on goal. Two saves. 
Shots on goal. The Invaders outshot him for the game, 28-25. And 11 saves for Namaski, 15 for Sanchez. We'll be back to wrap it up in a minute. The defensive player of tonight's game, Andy Sanchez. The offensive player of tonight's game, Ted Cantel. 